Hey you guys! Do I have lipstick on my teeth? Goodness gracious. Nope, I'm good. Hey guys, it's Sue here. Come back to my channel and we'll go back to another episode of hashtag unfilter me series today I thought I would do something a little different and give you guys a break from my uh, emotional roller coaster today I'll be sharing my experience doing the Chloe Ting's a two-week abs challenge um, I haven't done a workout challenge in a pretty long time I used to do a couple of them a while ago and I know you guys love seeing me do these challenges because I can only assume that you guys just love to see me suffer but I know deep down that you guys love me or at least I have to believe so. Basically, if you didn't know, Chloe Ting is a fitness YouTuber and her abs, two week uh, abs challenge video consists of 10 minutes, I repeat 10 minutes of non-stop workouts dedicated to building your ab muscles with 10 seconds in between, even though they honestly feel like a second, not even a second, you know? It is cruel, unjust, vicious. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But if you guys do want a taste of hell, I do recommend trying the workout for yourself. Seriously. But all in seriousness, if you guys want to check out to see how the actual workout is, I do recommend go watching it right now before jumping into this video because I think that way, that will really help you guys empathize with me throughout this video. Yes. So here we go. Let's get started with the experience. All right, guys. First day doing the Chloe Ting's challenge, abs challenge. Very excited. I'll be completely honest with you guys, I did go into this workout challenge a little cocky, you know, I thought it would be a breeze, piece of cake, um, you know, I've been working out constantly, diligently for a couple of years, and so I thought, Psh, yeah, okay, but boy, was I proven wrong, mm-hmm. That Chloe Ting workout was no joke. I feel so violated. So damn hard. No joke. I was struggling. I could not get through the whole workout and I li literally had to stop every single second. And for the most part, I was just laying there just watching Chloe Ting go at it. And I was just observing her. And for a moment there, actually that's a lie. For many moments, I honestly, I honestly did not think it was worth it at all. Mm -mm. No. <sighs> That was so hard. It's still hard. This is like impossible, guys. Seriously. She's a monster. I did keep on going with the challenge, and for the first couple of days, it was really about me trying to familiarize myself with the steps and the orders. And I also had to adjust and change some of the moves. Like, for example, I know I cannot do a proper leg raise without hurting my back. It's just not in my destiny. It's just not in my genes to actually do a proper leg raise. So what I did was I would just bend my knees and I would do like really, really light ones because I didn't want to hurt my back. And also I've been having a lot of problems and troubles with my wrist, especially due to harassing it for many, many years with endless editing. And so I did not want to put my wrist at risk. So I decided to change out any moves that would put strain on my wrist and replace it with ones that weren't as stressful. All right, guys, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I skipped out yesterday, not on purpose. I just had a full schedule, so I skipped out yesterday. I'm so sorry, guys. Is my gym not open? Huh. I think my gym's closed. Gym is closed. That is interesting. So here's what happened yesterday. The gym was closed, hence I could not work out. But I swear to you guys, I went back home and I did the workout. And today's the next day and I'm back at the gym and I did the workout. As you can see, my skin is boiling red. The workout's still hard. I think I'm approaching a week and it's still freaking hard. Um, but I feel like I'm getting the hang of it now and I'm able to kind of catch on. I don't stop to take breaks as much. <laughs> like I will take a break and I will stop because I just can't control it. Like I can no, I can no further just go along. It's too hard. But yeah, I can't wait to see an improvement. 
And yeah, gosh, it's so hard. Like Chloe Ting, like props to her. She's a monster in a good way. Like the Sugi Irene version monster. I actually have no idea what the song's about, but you guys know what I mean. Hi guys. I'm so exhausted right now. I don't know if I can do the workout even though it's like 10 minutes and my mother is saying something in the background, but I'm so tired. Really? <laughs> oh, how you underestimate that 10 minutes. All right, let's do it. I bet you're only watching it to see. She thinks it's gonna be easy because it's only 10 minutes. She has no idea. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oni, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> oh my god, look how much is off. Oh, I'm like covered. Guys, I thought this would get easier. It doesn't. <laughs> I've been doing it for a week. It's not getting any easier. Oh, don't wait until the. So at this point, I was just like, you know what, this may never happen. Like, I may not be able to go through the whole workout perfectly and keep myself up with Chloe Ting. Like, it may just never happen. Like how Chris Hemsworth and I, we just never happened, you know? It may be just so unexpectedly be unrealistic. So I basically had to readjust my goal in just being able to do the whole, just make it through the whole two weeks and do the challenge every single day, even though I might not be able to perfect it. As you can see, I am switching with glory, but I just finished my workout and I am so proud of myself. I did have to take pauses in between like as per usual, but I didn't have to take as that many pauses like I used to. So I feel like I am improving. And I honestly thought prior to this workout, I honestly thought I would have to readjust my goal to just being able to finish it in two weeks, just doing it for two weeks. Um, oh my gosh, I've, ow, I've sweated my eyes out. But now I feel like maybe, maybe if I'm really lucky, I'll be able to actually do the whole workout without pausing. Wow, but I'm really, really proud of myself. Yay! I think day 10 was fun. Hallelujah, I was seeing some hope, I was seeing some progress, and I was just like, you know what? Maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to pull this off. And that thought just really encouraged me to push myself the rest of the remaining days. <sighs> Guys, I am so proud of myself. Jeez. I think that was the best exercise that I ever did during this workout. I think I took maybe three pauses. I want to say max four, but I am so proud of myself and, I, and I'm beginning to feel like maybe, maybe this is possible. Maybe at the, by the end of two weeks, maybe I can do this whole thing. <laughs> Feels like death though. Let's mm -mm. do these folks. Yay! All right, three more days left. We got this. I feel like by now I really don't need to look at the video. I just need to listen and I'm good. It's just my body won't do what it's supposed to do. Yeah. How is it that this exercise never gets easier? Must just by gravity. All right guys, today is the last day, the last chance for me to do this workout perfectly. Damn, so much pressure, you know? The weight of the YouTube world weighing on my shoulders. <sighs> this is how Kim Yanani must feel before stepping into that rink. So much pressure. All right guys, let's do this. Oh, by the way, I will scream if I have to. Mm -hmm. You have been what? 
So today is the last day for me to achieve my goal, which is basically to keep up with Chloe T throughout the workout without pausing, except for the given 10 seconds in between. And I wanted to share this footage with you guys because it's a moment that I'm having and I want to share this glorious experience with you guys. Uh, but it's a little long, so let me just speed it up. <gasps> yeah, the Russian twist isn't actually that bad, but don't be fooled for what's to come. Because girl, I got this. I got this. Plank dips or hip dips can be such a bitch. I'm sorry for the language, but they're painful. What? That's why we had a 10 second break there. Well, it's not. There was not. No such thing. Yes, let it burn. This is what's burn. Oh. What? Can I just be honest and tell you guys that I do not recall and have no memory of making such noise. I honestly don't know what I'm saying right now. Now I'm just going to let the background music give it a more dramatic effect. And so yes, I was able to complete the challenge. I was able to do it, follow up, keep up with Chloe Ting as hard as it was uh, on the last day. And I felt like I succeeded. I was super, super proud of myself. And of course, for the before and after pics. Now before, prior to starting this challenge, I did still have hint of abs showing. My sister, my dear sister referred to them as uh, dimples, which I thought was cute, but very offensive. But after the workout, you can definitely see that there's more definition there and the abs look a little bit more sculpted I may dare say now I will add if you're not doing anything to reduce the body fat uh, you're probably not gonna see much visible changes even when you're doing this workout especially if you're someone who has a lot of belly fat like myself you guys know I've had my fair share of the problems in that area but anyways for me uh, midway through this challenge I actually changed up my diet of what I eat so that I can reduce the body fat especially my belly fat and I think that really did help a lot to bring more definition to my abs because think about it your muscles are basically buried under a layer of fat so even if you're growing your muscles by doing these workouts there's always going to be a layer of fat on top that's going to occlude your hard work so if you really are into seeing like bang wow stunning changes I do recommend changing your diet a little bit while doing this challenge if you guys want to know how how exactly I changed my diet. I did talk about it in my last episode of Unfilter Me, so definitely go check that out. Overall, I'm super happy that I pushed myself through the two weeks and that I managed to succeed on the last day, even though it was so effing hard. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao! Oh, by the way, if you've come here to see some beautiful fruit platter, are very Instagram worthy food plates. No, no, honey, you've come to the wrong place. We are going to keep it 100% real here. So, <laughs> bear that in mind.